here it is. First thing in the morning, Moab, Utah. We're at the uh, Harvey Resort. That's looking to the west. The mountains behind it. And you see they use a lot of four-wheelers, side-by-side, razors up here. A lot of off-road vehicles. Have a big Jeep rally here. Really nice, quiet place if you're looking for an RV park with no noise, quiet times for 10 to 8 in the morning. Beautiful place to stop, dump your tanks, fill up with water, charge all your batteries, wash clothes, whatever you need to do. And that's what we are, because we're fixing to go find some spots boondocking. So, Let's go to Moab, the town of, and go search for a place to boondock. Stop the madness, start the adventure, let's go. Alright, we're west of Moab, we're right past the uh, pull-off to go into Arches. National Park. Uh, we are heading uh, west on 191. We're going to uh, check out some boondocking spots. Uh, we went to the visitor center down on uh, 191 and Center Street. It's right in the middle of Moab. There's a visitor center in there. You can go in and get all your brochures. And uh, Kim, what did that lady tell you? She said that it was going to be crazy this weekend, and it normally is crazy Thursday through Sunday. She said that this week's going to be even worse because there's some type of motorcycle races, the razor floor races or something. There's all kinds of things going on this weekend. So they must have a big rally uh, going on this weekend. So, of course, the uh, weekend that we decided to come here, they got a, a big event going on. So, boondocking, and we saw that most of the RV parks have uh, our fault and there's a there's a lot of RV parks around here and of course some of them were already full when I called four months ago so that may mean that there's gonna be other people going to be boondocking so we're gonna check out a place up here that we noticed on the way in called Gemini something that we see people parked right up here on the left so we're gonna go check that out just to see what the rules and regulations are that may be parking just for the trailhead where people go, but we're going to go look at it because we noticed some other RVers there. And Gemini Bridges Road is what it's called. So let's go in here and see what's happening. There's already more and more people in there. This may be just a daily thing too, but we're going to check it out. Got nice bike trails here all the way up and down this thing. You can go from Moab. Parking up. fee. All right. Pay at fee Private box. Property. And the fee box looks like it's over there. Right. Let's go over there and check that out. Did I go to the bathroom, Kim? <laughs> what? Five dollars per vehicle per day. So that's just like it is up here right, next to staying. us. What does it say? It doesn't say anything about no overnight camping, huh? You see any rules or anything, baby? No. You don't see anything either. I mean, that thing was there yesterday that motorhome was yep. there so I mean it's still there yep. so I just hate to cram in next to somebody that might be what we do so that's one option so for five bucks um, or we can go back down here and see if they have anything and go ahead and put some stuff down there well here's here's what that's that's one option for us so we've got that option 
and uh, oh, look at this is across the way, dude. So that's one option. So if you're ever coming into into uh, Moab and you can't get an RV spot, at least you can go there and park for the for the night or whatever, and uh, just chill out. We're going to go up here to another area past the RV resort, which is right up here ahead of us on the right. We're going to go check it out. Uh, what was it called? Whisper Pines? I don't it's know. We'll called figure it out when we get up Willow there. Springs Trail. There you go. Willow Springs Trail. That's right. And that's a lot of boondocking in there. That's BLM land. It's and very that's, pretty. That's going to be like a mile or two miles west of the RV park that we're at. Canyonland, there's the entrance to Canyonlands National Park to the left right here. We're going to go explore that maybe tomorrow after we get settled. We want to find us a place that we can get locked into and we can get comfortable. where you turn for ours right there. Right. That's our... They've got propane there, $3.69 a gallon. I don't know what gas was. But you can at least get propane there if you need it. But farther right up the road here is uh, the BLM land. And we probably won't... Uh, video I'm going in because it is a little bit rough. But we'll show you just how far it is up here. It's not far. It's right here, I think, in the back. Somewhere right up here. Yeah, this is it right here. So you can see it's just not far. What you normally find on BLM land, I guess. But this it's is our in. first BLM land, so we really don't know. Well, that's better than some of the roads in Louisiana, though. Yeah. <laughs> but there's trails all through here that they can drive. I know there's a camper still there. So we'll go ahead and film this. We don't know whether it'll. We might have to edit it out, but. Just giving you some idea of the places that you can go. For free. For free. And a hell of a view, just about as good as view as we got paying fifty to seventy dollars a night. But you got there's no services out here. You had to bring pack it in, pack it out. Show it up close, but I mean those 
mountains look a lot closer in real life than it does on the GoPro, but it is a beautiful view up here. from here on in. The road's hard, it's packed. It's just got little bumps and everything. I bet when it rains, people come in here and it probably gets a little nasty. But anyway, I don't want to make anybody sick. So, we're gonna go in search and see what we can find. All right, we're, we're all the way back in to Willow Springs Trail, BLM land. You see a lot of people out here. Uh, that little place is off the road that you can pull off. There you can see the Class A down there. We'll go around the corner here. You can see there's a big old freight liner. I guess you could call it a Class C. But a perfect spot. A class A up on top of a hill right there. That's pretty cool. He can over. He can look over everything. Yeah. So that's very. That's pretty cool. But you can see there's just a lot of little places that you can pull off and park. A little bit rough in here though, but I think if you take your time and it's not raining, you'll be fine. But we're gonna give it a try tomorrow. We think this is what we're, we're gonna go with, so. We'll I'll see you when we get set up here tomorrow in search of BLM lands. RV Adventure TV, taking you where no RV Adventure TV has gone before. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. <laughs> All right, we're going to take you into the entrance of Archview Campground. They got cabins out here. If you're not RVing, they have places for tents, RV, uh, lots of RV sites. They got diesel out here. They've got regular gas. Propane. They got propane. But the thing about it is, if you don't really need electricity, there's so many places places right. that you can stay here a like right lot here, cheaper. Five dollars. Right here to the right. You can go right back in there for five dollars. If everything's full, they got you still got the general store here. I mean, I understand that you have to dump and do stuff like that, but I mean, you can save a lot of money out here. There's plenty of BLM land and stuff to do. Yep. You don't have to stay in one of these parks and spend all your money here. No, I mean, but if you if you need to come here to charge up or wash right, clothes or whatever, to. but uh, for fifty to seventy dollars, I think now it's peak time. They're charging seventy some dollars. Yes, yeah, like seventy five dollars a night now. And we're on fifty a.m which we're really only on 30 m because I pulled right. the motor home up a foot too far and my cord didn't reach so but still it's, it's not that hot so we're not using a bunch of air but we got the the cheaper discount because we, all, we did it so far in advance yeah, or whatever. but a, I mean if you were to do it right now it's $75 plus tax a night here sure. and you could stay for five dollars yeah we got it for what 50 roughly taxes and everything about 57 it was 115 dollars yeah. For two nights. And we did this, I believe, in January. January or February, because we already started calling around, kind of figured out what we wanted to do. We didn't know the deal is with uh, Maddie of where we were going to put her. And you can see Maddie's right over here. And also, right. we wanted to do that too to see where we could fit this forest to be on land right. too. You know, we, we had wanted to, to come up here and at least have a spot where we knew we could park. There's a until we the back of Maddie else. right there. There's the carrier two plus on the back of it. It's working good. Got our direct TV up and running. You can see that uh, a lot of people out here pull trailers behind their rigs. Yeah, everybody's got these razor things. Razor, Polaris's, off-road, four-wheelers. 
That's got, got a racer hat. buggies. So that, that's what they must be doing on the race. That motorcycle. But she said anytime you come on Thursday through Sunday is a madhouse. She said they have more people than there is spots to stay. So we're going to go up there early in the morning and go find us a spot. Stake out our spot. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go in here. Check a few things out. So that's the campground here. Write it down. Another tip. So we'll see you when we see you. Bye.